This video is to show you how to draw the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. So what does this mean? Well, what does perpendicular mean? It means the line that you draw has to be at right angles to this line XY here. Bisector means it has to cut it in half. It has to cut it into two equal pieces. So the way we do this is with a pair of compasses. First of all, put the point of the compasses on the point Y and set the radius so that it is at least half of the length of the line but not too long that you can't draw some arcs above and below the line. So I'm going to set mine to about here and then I'm going to draw an arc above and an arc below the line. Now it's important now you keep the radius of the compasses the same, put the point in X and then draw a small arc so that it crosses the arc that you previously drew. Finally, join up the two crossing points of the arcs here and here. And this line is the perpendicular bisector of this line XY. So we know that it crosses and makes right angles and we also know that this part of the line XY is the same as that part. Believe it or not, this is a map of Transom Park and it shows the locations of the drinking water fountains within the park. So what we're going to do is draw some lines on the map that split up the park into regions and if you're in a particular region it'll be quite clear which is the nearest drinking water fountain to you. Right, first of all let's get rid of the trees. We can't do it with trees in the way. And let's consider this point here first. Drinking water fountain C. What I'm going to do is consider the other fountains. Well, D is close to it, B is close to it, but A is quite far away. So I don't think I need to consider A. I'll just consider C and D. And what I'm going to do is draw a line between C and D to split up the region into the area that's closest to C and the area that's closest to D. And the way I do that is by drawing the perpendicular bisector of CD. So just like before, we take the compasses, set them to at least halfway, and then we draw an arc over here, another one underneath here, keep the radius the same, and then draw an arc here and here, and then join up these points here where the arcs intersect. So we know that anywhere on this side of the line is closest to C, or closer to C than it is to D. So what about fountain B. Well, we do the same thing. We draw the perpendicular bisector of the line CD. So I'll draw an arc up above, and this is where it can get a little bit confusing if you don't remember which arc was drawn for which two points. Right, I'll join up the intersections. And I know that anywhere in this region, then your closest water fountain will be C. So what I'm going to do is now I confirm that. I think I'll go over these lines a little more um, decisively. Thank you. 
So anywhere in this purple region here is closer to C than any other fountain. I'm now going to look at point A up there, or the, the location of the drinking water fountain at A. Right, I'm going to draw a line between A and D. So first of all, I need to construct the perpendicular bisector of AD, just as before. Arc over here, arc over there. And then keeping the same radius, arc here and arc there. And then I'm going to join up the intersections to show the edge of the cell in which A is. So right, anywhere above this line is closer to A. Now let me think of A and B. I won't bother with C, it's too far away, but I'll think of A and B. And I'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector of AB. So now I have two cells, A and C, that I'm happy with. I now need to split up the remaining region between D and B. So I'll draw the perpendicular bisector of DB. And there we have it, a Voronoi diagram. It's called a Voronoi diagram, and it shows wherever you happen to be within the park, whichever cell you're in, shown by the different colours, you can then work out which is the nearest drinking water fountain to you. So if you were like here, your nearest one would be D. And of course, if you're on one of the vertices here or here, well, you're equidistant, in this case, from A and D and B. You're exactly the same distance from all of them. So these are called cells, these are called edges, and these are called vertices. You can find Transum Mathematics at www.transum.org, where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free, or jump in with both feet and become a Transum subscriber.